I, uh, I spoke to my husband for about six months, never met him. Uh, we were introduced by our fathers and never met him. And the first day that we met was the day we got engaged. And the second day we met was the day we got married. Oh, I can see why you oh said yes. God. Yeah, he's all right. He's he's all right. right. <laughs> Did you know what he looked like before? We saw... I did see a couple of pictures, but that was, like, 11 years ago, so th there was no there was Facebook. No or anything there, was no, there was no Photoshop There was no Skype that influence videos. you in any way? I mean, he had a ponytail, by the way, oh. which was... Mm -mm. No, we got rid of that as soon as we got married. <laughs> oh, not happening. So, no, we're not keeping the ponytail. Okay. But, um, yeah, that, that what was... What did you think when you saw him that first day when you saw him in real life? Um, I didn't see him very well, but my sisters did. So they ran downstairs and said, Oh my God, he's so good looking. But he's got an enormous butt. And I was like, <laughs> so now, when I met him for the first time, the first thing I wanted to look at was his butt. <laughs> so I was like, I've got to check if this ass is as huge as I think it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's still very much there. He but loves you very it. much, and we apologise yeah, for yeah. the use of and that word. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so just rewind a little bit. You're 19 years of age. Yep. Um, and you're, you know, two fathers. Your father and uh, your husband's father yep. arrange this, and you speak on the phone. Yeah. And you build up a relationship, and then the next time you see each other, you are going to spend the rest of your on a plane. life together. I mean, yeah. that's big, isn't it? Or, yes. or was, did you feel that was entirely natural for you? I was or? 19, so I wasn't really with it, to be honest. You know, like, I, I wasn't in a position where I was making the right decisions, but not to say that was a wrong decision for yeah, me, yeah. but 19, 20, you know, so I got to 20, and then I realised, wow, this is a lot harder than I thought after yeah. we got married. You know, you have to actually live with someone to really know what they're like. Yeah, because you lived in Luton and he lived in Leeds, so you had to move up to Leeds. Yeah, so I had to Leave go up family. to Yorkshire. I didn't understand half the things they said to begin with. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't understand anything he said. Um, so that was a battle in itself. But, you know, it's, you spend... Mm. You know, it took me a year before I thought, OK, I actually do know what he's like. And, you know, 11 years later, I'm still working him out. But, you know... That's normal. That's normal. That's incredibly so, normal. Yeah. But you're thrown into that really intimate situation. When I say intimate, I'm not necessarily talking bedroom stuff. You're talking about cooking together. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, spending... One of you could be messy, one could be tidy. Yeah. Things that could yeah. really get on your nerves might not bother him. Yeah, but... I mean, when we got married, he we literally had a room and there was no preparation for my arrival at all. I'm still holding on to that one. Like, literally no preparation. There was just a very three-quarter bed and, like, a very kind of small bed and a wardrobe that was enough room for him to put his clothes away. I was like, what shall I do with my stuff then? Like, there was no room for my stuff. Yeah. Um, and he said, you don't need those shoes. You can chuck those away and those away and those. I was like, yeah, this is going to be tougher than I thought. I think then I knew this is going to be tough. Yeah. It's great to be good-looking and, and to like each other and have that attraction, but yeah. I think the hard bit is after you get yeah. married. Well, yeah. It obviously has worked for you. I mean, you're, you're very happy, three children, yeah. etc. Is it something you'd recommend to your own children? or? Unlikely. I think it's really? one of those... I'd like my kids to go out there and, you know, it's it's very different to what my life was 11 years ago and things are going to change mm. for them. I would love for them to go... I mean, I do not need the hassle of finding them a husband or a wife, for yeah. God's sake. You're say. a busy lady. Yeah, I don't need that. So, you know, I'd happily, I'd, I'd happily let them go and find their yeah. own partners. And when partners. you had your babies and you were there in Leeds and your family were in Luton, how hard was it on your own there with your children? That was tough. I mean, oh, that, tough. that was yeah. really tough because, I mean... Especially when you've got sisters and you want yeah. your sisters... When you have a baby, you want your mum and your sisters close yeah. by. They mm. weren't close by. And I was 21 when I had him, so yeah. that was... Yeah. yeah. That was a massive... Was, it was a baby having a baby. Yeah. It was a massive shock. Well, I think we're well, going to talk more about that we will. later, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. But with, um... I, I, I want to ask you, in terms of how you were proposed to, obviously, George Clooney and, and Amal, he did the whole getting down on one knee thing. Did that happen to you? Was it a private, intimate moment, or was it with all your family around? Was did he actually give you any piece of jewellery? Yeah, no, he. Uh, it was. Uh, it was not private at all. It was. Uh, it was like his family, my family, so about forty of us. Oh, yeah. And he gave me this god awful bracelet. It was, <laughs> awful. It was the. I, I melted that down really quickly. <laughs> Yeah, that's gone. Um, yeah, OK. No. Yes. That's a wonderful... Well, that's a killer. If you get the engagement ring, you don't like it. What do, what do you do I got then? I've, got you got a, I've got a girlfriend that that's happened to. Really? Yeah, they, they got given a, 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 you know, and then the whole thing, and down on one knee, and she went, mmm, yes, but mmm. <laughs> and they just went and swapped it and got another one. Yeah. Yeah, which I think is fair enough. I think you, know, you choose I, your own, Linda. When, uh, <laughs> when I got engaged to, to Finley's dad, obviously, God, how long we're we talking now? Oh, it was in the 90s. Um, it was with a curtain ring. Um, oh, because he knew that I would want to choose the ring. Yeah. So he went to a hardware shop, got a packet of brass curtain rings, and that was what he proposed to me with, was with a curtain ring. I thought that was a very clever idea. Yeah. And he also, I think it was a pack of 50, so he had 49 left. <laughs>
See, it didn't work out with me. 